Hey y'all, so I'm coming on here just to give you all some informative information that I believe that every service-based business owner needs to know. So the reason that I'm doing this is because I recently celebrated eight amazing years in business. And these are some things that I wish people would have told me along the way that I've had to kind of figure out on my own. So I want to you know, help you to skip a few steps so that you can get to where you desire to be in your business a little bit faster. In this video series, I am titling it Gems That Every Service-Based Business Owner Needs To Know. I am Keisha K. I'm the CEO of k &R Communications, which is a full service branding and digital marketing agency within the business and faith-based sectors. After celebrating eight amazing years this October, what better way than to give back to business owners information that I feel that they need to know. And this particular information will help you when it comes to growth, sustainability, and scalability. So in this short series, I'm going to talk about profitability, AKA income. We all want to talk about this subject. Some of us may be looking for it on the internet, reading books, going on YouTube, attending conferences. This is just something that every business owner wants to know. It's it's how can I be more profitable and successful in my business? So I'm not going to share with you any get rich quick information. The information I'm going to talk to you about is all about the long term game. So these are the keys to success that I've acquired along the way. So if you are new to business, this information is for you. If you are somewhat somewhere in between, like I'm not really new, I'm not quite established, then guess what? This information is also for you. Let's jump right into it. Today, we're talking about the different income streams that significantly change my business. That is anything between memberships, subscriptions, retainers, projects, and so on. I'm going to talk to you about each of those different models and how you can use them in your business. The first being membership. That membership model is when you charge a one-time fee to access information or to provide a service to a particular client. The second being subscriptions. That subscription Subscription model is usually when you charge a recurring fee, which your customers pay monthly or annual to receive information or a service from you. That third being a project-based model. So this is when your agency will charge a company or a client one particular fee for a project that they need to be fulfilled. This can be a launch. It's typically something that is short term that will help them to get where they desire to be within their business. The fourth being retainers. This is one of my favorite models. This retainer model is an agreement between your agency and a company that is for a particular period of time, usually 12 to 18 months. This is when that company pays you a fixed rate every month to your agency for work to be carried out on their behalf. The fifth thing is speaking. So you can have a speaking business model or a mixture of this model in your business. This is when you are contracted out for paid speaking engagements within your industry that you ultimately should be using to increase sales and gain more exposure for your company. And this is something that can be used as the front line for your business to ultimately help you to acquire more and more clients. The sixth thing being book sales. If you have any type of knowledge, you need to be doing what? Packaging your knowledge. So this can be packaged in the form of a book or a workbook, okay? Or even an ebook, whatever kind of book, it needs to be put into a book. These book sales go extremely well when you are pairing them with your speaking events, your memberships, and your subscription models. That seventh thing is going to be hosting in-person events or workshops. So again, if you are a subject matter expert, you need to be packaging your knowledge, and you can do that in the form of a workshop or an event. So this is going to be something that is branded to your company, and again, you can host it virtually or in person. These things are huge revenue boosters to your company. I've successfully tested out each of these models and that's why I can stand here and tell you how these different models can actually help your business. Now, the thing that you need to know is that each of these different models do require something different from you. They also require a very, very strong skill set in each of these areas. So I truly believe that your business can have a mixture of these models. Now, actually, I recommend that you have two to three different streams, but don't try to do them all at once. Master one and then 
and test the next. The three that I currently use in my business are retainers, project base, and subscriptions. These are the core three to my revenue model in my revenue streams. Okay, these are the original OG of revenue streams in my overall business that I've used over the last eight years. That first being retainers. Retainers are the very first revenue model that I launched in my company in 2015, October of 2015. What this allows me to do is to have a steady, predictable income. This is when a company contracts out your agency to fulfill a service for them. And most importantly, this is how you build true business client relationships with your clients that ultimately help you to ensure their overall success and growth in the marketplace. The second being project-based revenue model. So this is also one of the original revenue models in my business. What this allows me to do is to work with clients on a short term project, such as a conference or a launch. These are very tailored and detailed to their particular needs that they have for that moment in time. The third model that I use is subscriptions. And this is the last model that I employed in my business in 2022. What better time than to launch it than being in a pandemic, I guess. But guess what? It was extremely successful because we were not able to do things like have face-to-face -face events or going into people's office. Things had to be virtual. So I shifted just as I hope you shifted in the pandemic when it came to your revenue models. So what I love most about that subscription revenue model is that it allows me to educate my clients on branding and marketing, and it's also affordable to them based on where they currently are in their business. I get to train their teams. If I get to provide them with hands-on learning and again, subject matter expertise all wrapped in one. This model of subscription also helps them when they may be, again, starting out in their business or they may be where you are right now in that middle part of your business, but you know you need an agency to help you get to the next level. And when they are able to get there and they have the revenue to get to the next level, then they bring us in full time as a retainer. It's really a win-win. You get to choose which revenue model you want to use in your business. Be clear on what you want to do how you want to serve your clients, and how you want to operate your overall business. Understand what feels best to you. Know what flows well and where you flow well. So those are the different type of revenue models that you can employ in your service-based business. Let me know which of these that you've used, which you love the most, and which you may just test out and try. I hope this video was helpful to you as you are growing your business. And I'll see you in the next video as we continue to talk about gems that every service-based business owner needs to know.